So Darren, last month we demonstrated a man-in-the-middle attack using Cain and Abel and Etherreal. Yeah, but like we also said, you can always secure yourself by using something like Gmail, which uses SSL. You're exactly right. So this month we're going to take it a step further by doing a direct attack on the SSL protocol and show you how to decrypt SSLv3 and TLS traffic. That sounds like a lot of fun, but I can't hack on an empty stomach. Let's go get a bite to eat, and then you can show us how it's done. <laughs> okay. All right, we're back from lunch. Harrison, thanks for coming back on the show. How are we going to perform this tap? Like, what's involved? Okay, well, uh, first of all, we're going to be using WAPIX. Uh, I use WAPIX version 2.7. And that's just like Nopix. It's a Linux live distro? It's based on, uh, it's based on Nopix. The author of the program, basically, uh, he was, he's a security auditor, and he was doing an audit for a company, and they said he had to use their computers, and he couldn't install oh. anything. So, I mean, how are you going to get anything done, right? Really? So he said, all right, well, I'll play by the rules and put all of my tools onto this one Nopix CD and all my exploits. Basically, boot off the CD and I got a you know a portable hack toolkit. Now that's not the only portable hack toolkit. There's uh, Nopix STD. Uh, yeah, Auditor. Um, Flack. Flack. What uh, does Flack stand for? I have no, I have I have no, no idea. idea. What it is. Professional Hackers Linux Assault Kit. There thank you, you Wes. Wes, Welcome. thank you. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, there are a bunch of different toolkits. All right, so we're booted into WAPIX. What's the first thing we need to do? Okay, well, um, the first thing we're going to do is run a program called Frag Router, and this is going to route the IP traffic so that um, once we perform a, a, a man-in-the-middle attack, it's uh, everything's flowing in the right direction. Great. Okay, so once we've got that done, I just assume we start the ARP. Yeah, exactly. We're going to use, um, as opposed to Cain and Abel, we're going to use uh, ARP spoof, okay. which is a command line tool, and we just uh, enter the the, uh, the target address. Um, who we're going to ARP and the gateway, and that'll position ourselves in between it. All right. Now that's not all that's involved in the ARP attack, though. No, command line. Exactly. Um, since we're not, Kane enable does it automa automatically. But uh, since we're using a, a variety of tools, the next thing we have to do is, is DNS spoof, and that will complete the attack, and it runs silently. Okay. So um, once we've got DNS spoof, we're pretty much sit between them. We can see everything's going on. Exactly. What do we need to get the SSL um, attack going okay. on? Okay. Well, this is the heart of the attack. What we're going to do is use a tool called WebMITM, which stands for Man in the Middle, to create a spoof certificate. And it's going to sit on the network and just listen. And as soon as it, uh, the, the user tries to attempt, uh, or attempts to go onto a secure site, um, that certificate is going to come to us and it's going to stop, go no further. Instead, the user is going to be getting our fake certificate. Ah, so we're feeding so, them fake stuff. Good. Exactly. Um, and then what we do is just pull up Etherreal, sit on the network, and sniff up all the traffic. And as soon as the user um, you know, enters, uh, accepts the uh, certificate, enters his password. We're going to see WebMITM is going to start getting a lot of activity. As soon as that happens, um, the next step is just stop the other real. Uh, we can stop Save our scan. Save it to a dump file. Exactly. We don't need okay, any more so, data. Okay, so we've sniffed up the traffic. We've seen that they've gone to an SSL site like Gmail. Right. Now, what are we going to do? We've we've got encrypted packets. Right. Well, here's, here's, the, here's the key. We can save that uh, other real traffic and then use a tool called SSL dump. Now, what that does is uses a combination of the encrypted SSL traffic that we sniffed up plus the key pair. Because we created exactly. the certificate. We created the certificate, so it's an encrypted key pair between us and the user. So we have all the information that we need to decrypt it. So um, SSL dump will, will just do that all for us? Create it all in a dump file, and then it's just simply a matter of grepping. Uh, right. So grep what would we grep? You can grab only. You can grab a, a combination of things till you find the right uh, the right you know passphrase. Or basically, we're going to look for like pass WD or PASS or email password. Okay. password all the things that might. And then uh, it would be there in plain text. It would be in plain text, but not only that, it's going to show us the string of. Um, the string of traffic that actually contains the like the email logon and the password. Logon's right. another one to search for, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Okay. So um, we've got what site they were going to, their username, their password. Yep. Uh, then you know you've completely owned the box. Now there's one problem with your attack here, and that is when you go to when you're the victim of this attack, you're going to get their fake certificate. And uh, that's going to pop up and say, hey, you're trying to go to Gmail, but this certificate just isn't signed. It's not correct. Yep. You know, what do you want to do? And if you click yes, well, then you've accepted the fake certificate. Exactly. So you're relying on user error. It's kind of like a phishing attack. It kind of is. And if you examine the certificate uh, and show the details, it'll say it's not a trusted certificate. And you can look at where it's from. So we there's white hat. That's, at, that's yep. how you protect yourself. Is that just is, don't accept that those from trusted yourself. sources. Yep. Um, but uh, hopefully next month I can one-up you. Oh, no. You're not uh, going to one-up <laughs> me again. Just remember, embedded objects are your friends. Sounds like fun. All right, so if you'd like any more information about any of the stuff we talked about here, go ahead and head over to the show notes, hack5.org.